Hey everyone and welcome back to another J the One Eye Gamer video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the massive amount of information that Square Enix dropped on us for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And essentially all that is is they give us more information on Tifa and Barrett, more about the world with the Final Fantasy VII itself, and they talk about the material system finally and how that's going to work. They give us information on the battle system, but it's stuff we already know. And essentially they finally officially reveal the Western box art for Final Fantasy VII. So let's jump right into this, shall we? First off with Tifa and Barrett, show off full renders of the characters. They give a little more backstory about them, but what I find a little more interesting is what they show off of the world. They finally show off the Sector 7 slums a little more. Show off Tifa's bar of 7th heaven and they look great. Like this looks like a world that just breathes life if that can make sense to you guys. They just feel alive in that world and that's what I really love about this because it shows that Square Enix is putting a lot of time and energy into this game to make it look great and to make it feel like it's its own world and this is only the first part of however many chapters we're going to get and this is Midgar. This is literally like the first two hours of the original Final Fantasy game and it's just amazing how much detail they're putting into just Midgar itself and then after that we go actually into the materia system something they haven't talked about in depth at all and essentially what the material system is if you guys never played Final Fantasy 7 it was the system where you had magic your characters didn't learn magic like in most RPGs you actually had these little spheres that contain the magic themselves so what you did is you leveled up the magics themselves to learn the more powerful attacks say like if you had fire you would upgrade that after X amount of battles to fire and then after X amount of battles of that you'd upgrade to fire raga and then you would eventually master the material which would give you another set of that material from level one what was interesting about it is that each material came with its own buffs and debuffs so some material would like actively up your physical attack, your physical defense while taking down your magical attack and your magical defense and also probably taking some of your HP away where some would actually vastly improve your HP. There were materia that was support materia which they have shown off is returning as we see with the blue materia and what they seem to be showing off is that you're going to have the elemental effect attached to it and what that means is when this materia is connected to another materia through the equipment whenever you attack you have a certain percentage of the attack being amplified with the elemental damage it does and I'm very happy to see that they're bringing it back and then they also show off a freak more in his detail and they talk a little bit about the summons they pretty much state they're not going to be able to use summons in like small cramped areas it wouldn't make sense to summon ifrit in like a walkway but it looks like they're going to give you plenty of opportunities to have ifrit in the other summons up and about with these big massive areas and you can control them using some of your atb gate to have them issue attacks and if not they'll just walk around the battlefield themselves acting like giant fourth party members which i find very interesting last but not least we get the official reveal of the western box art final fantasy 7 remake and i have to tell you guys like it just looks amazing like i love the nostalgia that it brings back and the homage it has to the original box art it did for us like you don't understand seeing that brings back a slew of memories for me and also we got a better look at the abs boss fight which i'm gonna be quiet for a couple seconds because i need you guys to hear some of this awesome battle music <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? Was there goosebumps on your skin? Because that's what it was for me when I was able to hear this game's version of fighting. Literally one of my favorite battle themes of all time. And it just sounds so amazing. Just hearing these details and seeing how much effort Square's putting into this makes me really hopeful for this game. And I just can't wait until March 3rd. The only thing I hope is that before the end of the year, maybe at the VGAs, we could finally see Red 13. Because really, I just want to know if he's going to be in part one or if they're going to mitigate him to part two. I really hope he becomes a playable character in part one, but I just want to know what's happening with him. But that's about all the information we got this time around guys thank you very much for watching the video i want you all to have a great day and remember let's rock